Hi, my name is Roland Bolas, and I'm a sales consultant at Major Ford Lincoln Mercury in Miami. Today we're going to be going over the amazing features of the new navigation system available on the lineup of Ford Lincoln and Mercury. Hopefully I'll be able to guide you through the main uh, particulars of this system. To start off with, we're going to talk about Microsoft Sync. quickly through the highlights of the navigation system. This navigation system will allow you to do touch, touch screen, which means that you can actually touch the screen for the different options, or voice activated. The first button on the console is the map, which gives us a full-size map, and this map can be a flat map or a bird's eye map, as you see it right now. And it tells you where we're located. We're just located slightly west of uh, 7th Avenue and 90th Street, south of nine, uh, north of 90th Street. The next button is destination. It'll ask us to accept the system and then it'll ask us to put in an address. I'm going to push in standard and it'll open another menu. We don't have an address in yet so we'll go to street address and there's a new screen. Again we're doing the touch screen so I'm going to go to city and I can enter Miami. And there it is. And then I can just say, beautiful, let me do the list. It says Miami, Florida, and that's the right location. Now it's going to ask me for a street. And I'm going to put north, west, because that's where we are. I'm going to space it, because now I have to put in the number, which is 7th. And I'm going to go back again and put 7th. There's 7th. And I'm going to put a list. And it's going to give me a list, Northwest 7th Avenue. I'm going to touch it. And again, it's going to show. And now I'm going to put the address, which is 9000. And when I double check that we are in Miami, Northwest 7th Avenue, and the number of the street is 9000, I can enter this information. It's going to compute a route for me. And it's just going to calculate how to get here. Well, in this case, we are already here, so it's going to show us that we're right on top of the destination. But I can also do this by voice command. Let's do it. Please say a command. Destination. Destination. Please say a command. Street address. Destination street address. Please say the city name. Miami Beach. Miami Beach. Please say the street name. Alton Road. Alton Road. Please say a house number. 1500. The number you said was 1500. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Press the voice button to say set as destination or back. It now prompts me to push the voice button set this as a destination. Set as destination. Set as destination. And now it's going to compute the route to get from here to 1500 Alton Please Road. To the highlighted route. And it will and give me not only the map start. and the turn by signals, but it will also prompt me vocally. Now this address has been put into the system, and if I want to, I can go back to navigation, the destination, I'm sorry. I can go and cancel this route, because we are not going there anymore. And I'm going to cancel the entire route. But it is in the system. So I can go to a previous destination that was in the system. I can see which ones that I want to recall. In this case, I'm going to call again the 1500 Alton Road. And I'm going to save it to the address book. This way, it's always in my address book. And any time I want to go to this address, all I have to do is go to the address book. Again, by voice command, there are another number of functions that I can call. The next one I'm going to call is Travel Link, which gives me a choice of selections that go from weather, five-day weather report, traffic alerts, fuel prices, which indicates the name of the gas station, the distance from where I am, and the price, and also movie listings, which gives me the closest movie theaters, and in most cases it even gives me the moving listings with the time of the next uh, movies. So let's go there together. Please say a command. Travel link. Travel link. Please say a command. 
Fuel prices. Fuel prices. Now, as you can see, there's a list of fuel stations that are close to us. I see that I don't like mobile, but I like BP, so I'm going to choose BP. And it's actually going to give me the address, and I can set it as a destination, and that way it will give me voice commands to bring me to the, to the gas station that I've selected. I can scroll down, and there are a number of them, so if there's something that I particularly like, Unico has no address, but now it shows it, 1 Northeast 62nd Street. The same thing I can do with the movie list. Please say a command. Audio. Audio. Please say a command. Radio. Radio. Please say a command. FM. Radio. FM. And it goes and picks out the radio for me. And this works also with the CD player. It works also with the USB port. I am now going to plug in an iPod. This is the last thing we're going to do for today. I'm going to plug in the iPod. It's going to recognize my iPod. And I'm just going to tell it to go to, to the USB port. USB. USB, please say a command. Play artist. You can say play album, artist, genre, track, or playlist, and your selection. To control media, say play, pause, previous or next track, previous or next folder. Play artist, the Beatles. Playing artist, the Beatles. And calling the Beatles as an artist, it's now going to give me all the songs that I have under the Beatles. I can control the volume. And with these buttons right here, I can change track. And it'll just select. And that's how you use your USB port with an iPod, with a flash drive, and it has the same type of function. And it allows you to call it by artist, by genre, by playlist. Unbelievable feature. And that basically finishes the navigation system in the 2010 Ford Lincoln and Mercury. I hope this was helpful to you.